Hello everybody, it is Martha here with you. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, I'm absolutely so happy to see you here and um, welcome. Uh, so today I am going to be creating this super cute uh, folio. So it is five and a half by seven and a half and it just has a one inch spine, but you can fit quite a bit in here. Um, I embellished mine with lots of pattern papers but if you did cut some of those pattern papers out, you could fit lots of photos in here. So I left um, the cover open. I didn't put acetate in there just because I wanted it to have a really casual feel. Um, I used the Cartabella Flower Market um, collection. This is an older collection, super, super pretty. This is like the one-sided one, but you can get this paper double-sided, but I think any pretty spring collection would work uh, the same way. So let me just go through and show you here. I didn't use any stickers or um, like little embellishments. I This collection doesn't come with, uh, or this particular uh, paper pack that I got um, doesn't didn't come with like stickers or anything like that. It just came with the paper. So um, the word, the grow word here, I just fussy cut out of one of the cut aparts uh, from the collection. But other than that, there are no, I didn't use any uh, stickers or anything like that. Um, so it does have the peekaboo cover, which I really like. Um, and then I use my camera stamp throughout just to indicate where to put photos. And I only used glue just in this black section here so that we could stick our photos underneath on both sides. So then it opens up like this. And on this section here, you have a spot for a photo. And again, I added um, a cut apart here, but you could definitely just add another photo spot or do one big photo spot if you want. And then it opens up like this and there's a flap here for a photo. And on the back as well, again, I embellished with the pattern paper, but you could definitely add a, um, another photo mat or a full photo mat, same thing here. I wanted to use the cut aparts, um, but you can make this full photo. All right, and then this section here has a little um, insert in this cute little pocket. And then there's another insert behind there. And then these two just go right back in here. And then there is a larger pocket back here with another insert. So lots of room for photos. And then if we go to this section here, there is a cute little diagonal pocket on the front and I just put a small um, insert, but you could do larger inserts. You could do several inserts. This room, uh, this folio has a lot of room to expand. And then underneath here, there's a belly band under the pocket and I put an insert for a nice large five by seven photo in there. And then it opens up like this and there is a flap that opens up. I left the back blank so you could add your photo and then there's a nice pocket here so you can add lots of um, inserts and photos. Um, whatever you'd like can go in there. It's a nice deep pocket. You can fit five by seven photo mats in there and then that closes down. And then down here, I created this super cute um, diagonal pocket and it's all made with one sheet of cardstock and I'll show you how to do that in the tutorial and then I just have one insert but you could fit a ton it's such a nice uh, spacious pocket and then that opens down and then you have room for photos um, again I embellish with the cut aparts and the pattern paper but you can definitely add photos there and then back here there's just a nice um, four by six photo mat so super super cute comes together really quickly I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one. Um, the cutting guide will be linked below, so I do not go through all the sizes of the pattern paper and the inserts and things like that in, in the tutorial. Um, I give you, of course, the measurements for the construction, um, but if you do want to grab the cutting guide, I will link it below to my Etsy shop. Otherwise, I always just go down a quarter inch. Um, you know, or I just kind of measure and decide how I want my mats to be, but the cutting guide will be below for you guys if you want to pick that up. 
So let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, let's get started with our cover. So the first thing you're going to need to do for the cover is make the little um, window. So I have a piece of my heavyweight black cardstock. So this is 110 pound black cardstock that measures seven by seven and a half. And on the seven inch side, you're going to score at half and one and a half. Okay, so you're going to have a half inch section and then your one inch spine. All right. Then what you're going to do is you can fold down that one and a half inch mark and then with a pencil and a ruler you're going to mark in from the the on the five and a half inch side so this section is going to be five and a half by seven and a half so on the five and a half inch side you're going to score or sorry mark in at one inch one inch then you're going to do the same thing at the bottom mark in at one inch one inch then you are going to connect those lines with a pencil and a ruler. And then you're going to do the same thing on the seven and a half inch side. So you're going to mark in at one and one and then one and one on this side and connect those lines. Then you're going to end up with a square in the middle, just like this. And you are going to cut that square out. So I just use a craft knife and a ruler. Um, but if you have one of those... Um, cutters that can do that that can just drop in and cut that's perfect so that is going to be the, the like peekaboo front cover okay then you're going to need another piece of your heavyweight black cardstock that measures six and a half by seven and a half and on the six and a half side you are going to score at half and one and a half so they're different sizes but you're it's the same measurements so you're your cardstock, your heavyweight black, measures six and a half by seven and a half. And on the six and a half side, you're going to score it half and one and a half. Okay. So we can go ahead and fold and burnish both of those pieces on our score lines. So for this piece here, I'm not putting acetate in the window just because I really wanted this album to have like a very casual feel or sorry the folio um but it's totally up to you it would be very easy you would just put in a um so it would be five and a quarter by seven and a quarter piece of acetate on the back and then you would put your pattern paper frame over top of that if that's what you want to do okay but i chose not to do that for this folio all right so then for the other piece of our cover you're going to need a piece of your um black cardstock so your heavy black cardstock that measures five and a half by seven and a half and that's just no scoring or anything so for these pieces here we need to miter our little half inch sections so all we're going to do is in this little half inch section from the score line you're going to cut Add a diagonal out, not into the score line, just the half inch section. And you're going to do that for both your pieces. All right, so now let's give this one more little score here. Or one more burnish, I should say. So nice and flat. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And I'm going to put it on this little half inch section. And it's going to go along the seven and a half inch side of this five and a half by seven and a half inch piece. So just make sure they line up equally to each other there. Evenly, equally. And then you can give it a burnish. And then we'll burnish from this side as well. All right. And then same thing for the back one. Or sorry, this side, I should say. Give it a burnish. And add your glue to your half inch section. And just put it right along that seven and a half inch side. I always like to pick it up and 
Make sure it's really nice and even. Burnish. Then you can open it up and burnish from the inside. Just like that. All right, now over here on this side, we are going to have a flap. So the flap measures five and three quarters by seven and a half. And on the five and three quarter side, you're going to score at half and at three quarters of an inch. So you're gonna have your half inch attaching flap and then you're gonna have a quarter inch gusset, okay? And this is the heavy black cardstock, so the 110 pound black cardstock. And then bold on your score lines, fold and burnish. And then we'll miter. Just like this. Burnish this one more time so it's nice and flat. Then add your glue to this little section. And then it's gonna get attached right along this side here. Again, pick it up, make sure it's nice and even, or you could just get closer with your head. I can't really do that because you guys don't want to see the top of my head in the camera, so it's easier for me to pick it up. Then we can burnish from the top, and then from the inside. All right, and then just kind of push that back on itself. All right, so then when you open this flap, there's going to be a little flap right here. And that flap measures four and three quarters by six and a quarter. And this is the lightweight. So this is the 65 pound cardstock, black cardstock. And so it's four and three quarters by six and a quarter. And on the four and three quarter side, you're just going to score it half an inch. And we can go ahead and fold and burnish on that score line. And it's just going to go in the center right here on this flap. So remember, this is the flap that we just attached to this side of the book. And when you open it up, it's going to go on the inside right here. Okay. So let's add our glue. And if you guys are following along with the cutting guide, the cutting guide is written to follow these steps. So the exact way that we're going right now is how the cutting guide is written. So it's gonna go right here, just like this. All right, and it's gonna open up and there's gonna be a little flap right there. Now we're gonna to come to this center section here. So for the inside back, which is what this will be called in the um, in the cutting guide, this is the inside back cover. Um, so I have a pocket that measures five and 15 sixteenths by seven. So this section is five inches, right? But this is a pocket, so we score on both sides. I wanted it to just be the slightest bit smaller than my um, than my the section that I'm attaching it to. So if you look at a ruler, so here's my five inch mark, right? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen sixteenths between the five and the six or between any inch mark, right? So I scored it at this mark here, okay? So that mark right there, or sorry, I cut it at that mark. So measure, you can even, if your um, cutter doesn't have those measurements, if it doesn't have sixteenths, you can even just take your piece of paper and mark it at that last line before the six and cut there, okay? 
that's going to be the easiest way to do it. I just wanted it to be the slightest bit smaller so that our, our folio isn't getting stuck trying to close because the space is too tight, okay? So it measures 5 and 15 sixteenths by 7. And on the 5 and 15 sixteenths, you're going to score it half, flip it in your scoreboard, and score again at half. And on the 7-inch side, you're just going to score it half, okay? So let's go ahead and fold and burnish our score lines. Just like this and then we're going to cut across our corners so right where those two score lines intersect you cut and this just reduces bulk just like that right then we can go ahead and burnish from the top burnishing pockets or anything from the top makes it go down so much nicer all right i'm going to add my glue just to the bottom section for now And it's going to go in between these two score lines. And you're going to see there's barely, barely any space. And I'll lift it up to show you in just a second. It's just, just enough to give clearance for our, for our pockets between those two score lines. So you'll see there's just the tiniest bit of space so that our score lines can fold over top of that pocket easily. All right, so now we can go ahead and add glue to these sections as well. Bring that up. And it should just go down because we already have it lined up. And burnish. And burnish. All right, so now we're going to have this pocket. And that is again going to measure 5 and 15 sixteenths by 4 and a quarter. So I already explained to you about the 15 sixteenths by four and a quarter. On the fifth, five and 15 16 side, you're going to score at half an inch, flip it in the scoreboard and score at half an inch. On the four and a quarter side, you're just gonna score at half an inch. And we can go ahead and fold these score lines in and burnish them. And then I'll show you how to mark for the pockets. So we can cut these across again just like we just did. And then we'll fold this in so it's easier to see. So with these folded down, because these are just our attaching flaps, so with them folded down, you're gonna measure in at three quarters of an inch, 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 and then connect those marks. And then on the other side, so our four and a quarter side, you're going to mark in three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, and then connect those two lines. And then it's going to form this rectangle here. And we're just going to cut that out with our craft knife and a ruler. All right, so now I've cut that out and I erased the extra lines and that's going to go right on top of that pocket. So I'm just going to Burnish from the top and add my glue just again just to the bottom section for now and it's gonna go right here so it should line up evenly with your other pocket burnish that and you can open it up and add your glue to these sections. And just bring that up. And burnish it. All 
All right, just like that. Okay, so now let's work on the flap that's gonna go on this section here. So the flap itself is seven and a half by eight and a half, and it's the heavy black cardstock. On the eight and a half inch side, you're gonna score at half and at one. So half and at one. And we can go ahead and fold and burnish these. And then we'll go ahead and miter our first half inch section. All right, and then fold this section down that the, uh, the one inch line so that we can work on the top of this flap first. So the top of our flap is going to have a belly band and our belly band measures four and a quarter by eight and a half. And on the eight and a half inch side, I scored at half an inch, flipped in the scoreboard and scored at half an inch. And this is the lightweight black cardstock. We can go ahead and fold and burnish on our score lines. Then we'll add glue. And get our flap and put it right along that second score line at the top here. And then we can add glue to the other half inch section. And just bring that down. So I just centered it on here. It's fine if it's off center or however you want to put yours and then give it a burnish just like this. All right, now, so the top of this belly band is going to have a pocket on it. And the pocket measures five inches tall by five and a quarter wide. On the five and a quarter side, you're gonna score it half an inch, flip it in the scoreboard and score it a half an inch. And then on the five inch side you're just going to score half an inch to create the bottom of your pocket so let's fold and burnish these score lines so i'm just folding them and then we'll cut the corners out and then we'll burnish so again just cut across where those two score lines intersect then you can burnish from the top All right, so now with the, again, our flaps folded down, you're gonna mark in two inches from this side and two inches from the bottom, okay? So two inches from this side, two inches from the bottom, and then you're gonna take your pencil and a ruler and just connect those two with a line, so a diagonal line, and then we're just gonna cut that line off. So I have my flap folded and that's fine. And you're just going to cut right across that line and then open this up and just miter in there like this. All right. And then this is going to get attached on the top of this of our belly band. Okay. So we can start by just putting glue across the bottom one first. And of course, you're welcome to use tape or whatever adhesive you like to use. I like to use the arc glitter glue for construction. And then for most of my matting, I use my um, beacon glue. Then we can add glue to these little sections. And then just bring that up and burnish. Just like that. All right, so that is the front of our flap, okay? So on the back of it, let's open it up so that these are up here. We are going to have a pocket on one side and a flap on the other side. So the pocket's gonna go on this side. So my pocket measures four and a half by eight and a half. And then again, this is the lightweight black cardstock. And on the four and a half side, I scored at half an inch. On the eight and a half side, I scored at half an inch, flipped in the scoreboard, scored half an inch. 
and then we can fold and burnish. So let's fold and then cut our centers or our corners out. Just like that. And then we can burnish from the top. Just like that. All right, and then we will add our glue here. And it's gonna go right along this edge. So sit, put it in this bottom corner all the way to the bottom, on all the way even to the bottom of your flap. And burnish that and you can open it up and we'll add our glue to these little side flaps bring that in burnish it All right, and then on this side here, there's going to be a flap. So it measures four and three quarters by six and a quarter, lightweight black cardstock. And on the four and three quarter side, you're gonna score it half an inch. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish this. Add your glue. And it's gonna go on this edge here. Just like this, and again, you can center it in like I did, or you can put it wherever you want on there. Burnish that, all right? Now, I did not use any magnets in this book at all, um, just because I really felt like I didn't need any, but if you want to magnetize this um, to keep it closed, you go for it. I didn't feel like it needed it. Um, so now, we have to take this whole flap and attach it to this section of our book, okay, of our folio. So this is five and a quarter, this is five and a half. So you're just gonna center it in there. So let's add our glue to just this little half inch section here. And we're gonna go right across the top and just center it in as best as you can. Lift it up, make sure it's all the way to the top. All right, and then you can open it up and burnish from the inside. All right, and then close it and then just push it back on itself. And then that is that whole flap attached in. So the last thing we need to do construction wise is our little diagonally pocket down here. So for that, you're going to need a piece of your lightweight cardstock that measures seven and a half by 10. On the seven and a half inch side, you're just gonna score at half an inch. And then on your 10 inch side you're going to score at two and a half and then at seven and a half or you can score at two and a half flip it in the scoreboard and score at two and a half okay let's do some cutting first before we do that so in this little section here what you're going to do is make a little snip up to that score line and then what you're going to do is make a little snip right here as well so you have this little like triangle right there. So I'll show you again on this side. So basically you just come at, in at a diagonal only up to that score line on both sides, just like this, okay? So now these two will get folded up like this and this one gets folded back. I'm gonna put this aside so we can continue to work on this. So this section, gets folded towards the back, the, the larger 
half inch section and the smaller ones get folded towards the front, okay? But before we can attach these down, we have to do some more measure or some more cutting, not measuring. All you need to do is take a ruler and from the score line here, line it up with this edge down here. So from the score line to this edge here, line it up and make a pencil mark, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're going to, from the score line, down to this edge with the ruler, put the ruler there and make a mark, a straight line or a diagonal line, I guess, but make sure it's straight down. And then you can cut that, that out, okay? So I'm just gonna use my scissors. You can use your craft knife. You can use uh, your um, paper trimmer whatever you'd want. Just cut that whole section out like this. So at this point, this is what your piece should look like. So you have your two little flaps in, this little flap goes back. Now we're just gonna take and glue these right there. So give that a nice burnish. on both sides, so make sure that flap is in. Burnish and burnish. All right, now we can glue these down. So add your glue, well, that's a lot of glue. So just smooth it out, bring it in, make sure it's nice and flat. And then glue on this side as well. then burnish that. And then you can give it another little burnish. All right, so that is what that piece should look like. So now bring back in the folio, and this is gonna get attached on this section down here, okay? So add your glue to this little flap. and just center it in there. You should have about a quarter inch on both sides of it. And burnish. And believe it or not, that is it for the construction of this folio. So now we just need to, I'm just gonna show you how to mat some of the more, um, difficult uh, pieces like the cover, and then this pocket, this pocket, and then this pocket. All right, now, so for your pattern paper, the few that um, you can't just kind of measure yourself, um, for the cover here, I'm gonna use white cardstock just so it's easy for you guys to see. You need a piece of your pattern paper that's five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So then you're going to mark in at three quarters of an inch all the way around. So three quarters of an inch, 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 and then connect those tick marks with a pencil and a ruler. And then go to your seven and a quarter side, same thing, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, and then connect those lines. And then you're gonna cut that center out and that is what's gonna give you your frame for the front and you would repeat the same thing for the back, okay? So that is for um, for this frame. So once it's cut out, this is what it will look like. All right, then if we go to our pocket here, that's our little cutout pocket, you're gonna do the exact same thing, but this piece of pattern paper is going to measure four and 11 sixteenths, because remember this was five sixteenths, so if we go down a quarter inch, it brings us to 11 sixteenths. So again, if you go to your ruler, so here's four, and then 11 sixteenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It's the line just before the three quarter mark, okay? 
the four and three quarter mark, it's the line just before. So it measures four and 11 sixteenths by three and a half. And on the, all four sides, you're gonna mark in the same way that I just showed you for the cover, you're gonna mark in half an inch though. So half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and then make your lines. And then the same thing for the three and a half inch side, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and connect those lines. And then you would cut that center out. And that is what's gonna give you your frame for right here. And then for this pocket here, you're going to have a piece of your pattern paper that measures four by four and a quarter. And then you're going to place it on here so that the four is going this way and the four and a quarter is going up and down. And you're just going to place it in just like this. Then what you're going to do is take a pencil and mark in from the edge. And it's very hard for me to see. Uh, mark in from the edge about an eighth of an inch from that edge and then an eighth of an inch down here from this edge. And then you would just take your scissors and cut across there. And then that is going to mat perfectly onto that pocket. All right, and then lastly, for our little diagonal pocket back here, you're going to need two pieces of your pattern paper that measure six and a half by two and an eighth. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to place it, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pencil and a ruler and we're gonna do the same thing we did to create the pocket itself. You're gonna make a line from the top edge down to this edge. So this one's gonna match up on this side. So you're gonna make a pencil, make a mark with a pencil and a ruler and then cut that off just like this. And then that is gonna mat really beautifully right here. Then for this one here, you're gonna make a mark from the bottom to the top. So you're gonna go diagonally this way on this one. And then you just cut. You don't need to measure anything. You just mark from the bottom corner to the top. So on this one, you're gonna mark from the bottom left-hand corner to the top. And this one you're going to mark from the bottom right hand corner to the top and then just cut that off and that will give you your mats for these okay the rest of the info is in the cutting guide but again you can just measure your spaces and go down a quarter inch that's how i do all my matting um so yeah that is this super quick and easy little folio i absolutely love it and um, i'm going to do something different with this one so i will um when it's done, I will show you guys uh, what I did with this one. It's gonna be obviously no new construction, just different uh, paper collection. Um, so yeah, so super, super easy and quick. I absolutely love it. The cutting guide will be linked down below for you guys. Um, and if you haven't joined my Create with Martha Tucker um, Facebook group, I will uh, link that below for you as well. And I would absolutely love if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel that, um, just makes my heart so happy. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.